Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrew Coleman, and this is What's Your Passion, episode number 18. And today we're talking about toxic people. Uh, during the past six months, this has popped up so many times, it's unbelievable. Uh, during the Christmas and New Year holidays, I came across this book, How to Hug a Por Porcupine by Dr. John Lund. And, you know, it's like three of the key takeaways are, first, you're never going to change a porcupine. Second, a porcupine seldom, if ever, understands that they are toxic themselves. It's everybody else. It's never the porcupine. They're usually very charming individuals. Very charming. And the conclusion in the book is you, you just simply can't hug a porcupine. So do you enjoy working with toxic people? How do you mitigate or eliminate them? Firing isn't always an option here in Europe. They have very strict rules that once you've hired somebody, you get to keep them. So the talk of how to deal with toxic people has popped up a lot. So after reading the book, I started to look at this from how do we do this from a flow leadership perspective? And I share an example of that in today's blog post, how I used vision strategy, people, and tasks. And in people, you can also substitute in the word project because this was for a project and a project team. And I had a very disruptive person that was a, an absolute expert at emotional manipulation. And frankly, she was disturbing the entire team. So I used VSPT and I did a, a quick spreadsheet, interviewed everybody on the team, had it by columns and just put the table in front of everybody showing what each individual's vision was, what their strategies were, how that tied to the project, and then ultimately how each of their tasks were tying into that. And it didn't take very long for the agitator to become agitated. And so uh, I used also the 4R model in order to get to her core truth and to understand her values and attitudes and how to mitigate those. And then using the idea of distilled agreement in order to kill the politics. Life's too short to put up with that kind of politics. And so combining VSPT with the 4R model with the 4D model successfully mitigated her. She got bored, left, decided to move on to another project and the team settled down, they were able to norm and then perform. And so when you're running into people who are toxic, there's not many things that you can do with them. They're not rational. They're going to deal with emotions. And so trying to help them make a new decision based on new information, that's not always going to work especially with porcupines. So you're going to have to uh, use peer pressure and these tools in order to be able to mitigate that kind of poison that you have on your team or in your organization. My name is Andrew Coleman. This has been What's Your Passion number 18. Let's look at how we deal with toxic people. Talk to you again soon. Thanks.